Hello, I'm Bill LeMay, and thank you for watching Community Matters on MyRDC. We hope you continue to watch as we discuss issues facing our community and provide you with the resources and information needed to find solutions. Today, we're talking about the ins and outs of buying a home. With recent increases in home prices and decreasing home inventory levels, we'll look at what you should consider when making the decision to buy or sell. And with us today to start the discussion is Mike Morrison with GSF Mortgage, and welcome to the show, Mike. Thanks, Bill. My, my pleasure to be here. Well, I'll tell you what's always exciting to buy a home, and I know the first thing a lot of folks do is go to the internet or something, but in, in practicality, if you're seriously thinking about buying a home, what advice would you have? What is the number one thing you think folks should do? Well, I think the number one thing folks should do, Bill, first is really find out how much they can afford in a house. With with prices starting to rise, real estate's coming back a little bit, some home purchases are getting more competitive, and so you need to go into that transaction with as much power as you can. And the first thing to do is take care of the financing first, know what price point you can buy, how much mortgage you can afford, and then it, you can go into the buying process with a lot more confidence to be able to find that proper house that fits what you're looking for. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to be a little personal here, folks, because I, I did do that. I did do that, and I ran into problems. Because you, you will go to a bank or a lender, and they will ask for a lot of information, and they'll pre-qualify you. And, but I ran into problems, and I spent a lot of money, Mike, uh, getting the house in, inspected and, and appraised and all of these things that you have to do, only to find out later that because of regulations or whatever, uh, I wasn't able to follow through on that. Now, how do I safeguard myself and, and how do our viewers safeguard themselves from having to go through that? Well, I think the biggest thing, Bill, is a very good point you brought up, and, and that is that somewhere along the way, the real estate buying process kind of got a little off course. And what that happened was people typically, like you said, will go to a lender and get a pre-qualification, they're called. And really all that means is that a lender may have pulled your credit and has talked to you about income and, and they come up with a verbally what they think you can afford to buy. And then people go out and look for the house, contract it, get into all these obligations only to find out through the loan process that some little detail pops up that trips it. And that's probably what happened to you. Oh, it did. Am I, I'm not the only one though, am I? We, we see it all the time. And I think the, the, that's kind of why I said the financing needs to be put in place first and not just a pre-qualification as they call it, but go through the process of getting a loan approval. Then you don't have to worry about the loan anymore. You can go out and concentrate on the house. So what you're talking about is initially is the information you're giving the lender. You're not really talking to an underwriter. An underwriter is the one who, who finalizes uh, uh, the amount of money that they're willing to lend you. Uh, is this something I can go anywhere and ask for? Because uh, I've had a problem getting that to, to, to materialize. Very good question. Unfortunately, Bill, every lender will not do that. But you're right. What happens is your loan originators do this pre-qualification process, and they're just looking at big picture items, debt ratios, what your income level is, and what your credit is. When an underwriter looks at it, they get into the details of the loan, and that's where they say the devil's in the details, and that's why you run into the problems you did. At GSF Mortgage, we're unique in that we've come out with a new program we call our Finance First. It does just what it says. We don't do this pre-qualification. We'll take a buyer before they even buy a house or find a home and take them through the entire underwriting process for loan approval. Then they can go out confidently with their agent and find that home that fits what they're looking for and not have to worry about those issues that you just said. Well, I know what they're asking is, is there a cost for this? No, there really isn't. It's just most lenders will not do it just because there's a lot more involved in getting, the, getting to that level in the loan. But we've decided it's worth it. We think the industry needs it, and I think it'll change the way we, people buy real estate. So what does that mean to me and uh, to, to viewers out there? I mean, is there, uh, to put it into perspective for folks who, who want to go buy a house, um, what advantages to them other than maybe uh, not taking a little bit of the uncertainty out of uh, the whole process? In my opinion, it's, it's a couple fold. One, once you get pre-approved, you, you've got real buying power. So in a market where prices are starting to rise and you're looking for homes, and sometimes you may have multiple offers on that home, having that buying power to go in with a pre-approval, you can set a shorter closing date than your competitor who's buying that house. Agents love it because they've got a borrower they know can qualify and will close on a home. And sellers love it because you can write a contract that's solid and can close much quicker. Well, for the buyer then, someone who might be watching this morning and they're thinking, you know, it is time to make that move. What's a realistic time frame? I mean, um, 
who and how do they find a lender that they're comfortable with? Uh, do you have any tips, anything they should be looking for, and an expectation as to how long the process might take? I, I do, and, and when people buy a home, they think about a real estate agent and finding that real estate agent that fits them. But what they really need to be thinking about first is that mortgage lender, because that mortgage lending is the key piece to buying that home. So they need to work with a lender, that uh, a loan originator rather, that will answer their questions, that takes time to explain the process, um, and that can make them understand it as they go through. When you understand something, ed educate yourself basically is what I would say. But getting that pre-approval and not a pre-qualification gives you a, a much bigger edge than anybody else in the market. Uh, government regulations, I know that changed at the beginning of the year. They always seem to be changing. Um, and is that something that, well, let me put it this way. For people who might be looking at buying a home, is, is it a good time? Uh, is, can you still get money? Because that was at one point a question. I mean, you're, you're in the business, so is that money there and available? Absolutely it is, Bill. I think that was a real misconception that went on. And the, what people need to understand is mortgages are definitely attainable, very easy to attain, and, but you just have to verify. We're, we're back to the days when we used to do lending, where when you said you made X amount, your, your credit was this, you had this much down payment, you had to verify that. We got away from that in 2003 to 2007, and it got to be if you had a heartbeat, you could get a loan. We're back to the days of verification, and if you verify, the loan process is not complicated at all. And you need a ori loan originator that will help you understand that process, therefore it makes it easier to get through. Mike Morrison with uh, GSF, uh, how do people get a hold of you? Give us a call today, we'd love to work with you. Our number is 919-228-4040, right here in Raleigh, 919-228-4040. All right, Mike Morrison, thank you, my friend. Thank We're you. gonna take a short break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at what's happening in the Triangle real estate market, so stay with us. We'd like to thank all of our guests for joining us today, and of course, thank you for watching. We hope you've learned more about home buying and the process, and picked up some good tips to help you uh, through whatever decisions you need to make along the way. Now, if you have any questions or you'd like to know more, visit our website at myrdctv.com. And I'm Bill LeMay. Thanks for watching Community Matters on MyRDC. See you next week.